nations tremble at his voice. All creation rises to rejoice. Behold our God, seated on his throne. Come, let us adore him. Behold our King, nothing can compare. Come, let us adore him. 
The gospel must be defined. It is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for our sins. The gospel must be declared. For how will anyone trust Christ if they've never heard this truth? But the gospel must also be demonstrated. When we demonstrate the love of Christ to a hurting world, we are in a much better position to tell them of God who showed his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now we know that we cannot earn salvation through our good works. But God has ordained good works to adorn the true gospel. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, whom God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. This is a faithful saying, and I will that you proclaim constantly that they who believe in God should maintain good works. Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak evil among you as evildoers, they shall by your good works glorify God in the day of visitation. When we're discouraged, sometimes we wonder, does it do any good to show the love of Christ to this world? Sometimes when we're weary, we neglect to do the one thing that we need to do the most, and that is to reach out with the love of Christ and declare the gospel. In the video tonight, we want to remind you that even in our most difficult and challenging days of life and ministry, Christ enables his people to demonstrate God's heart of compassion as we share the gospel to a lost and needy world. So let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Keep declaring the gospel and keep demonstrating the love of Christ as you do. None of, None of us will forget 19 months ago when our world shut down. For a brief moment, pastors and churches felt stuck, uncertain, confused. After all, how could the church effectively carry out our gospel ministry while required to maintain social distancing? And how could the church move forward while required to shelter in place. But Christ is larger than pandemics, and he left his church with the Holy Spirit to empower our efforts. Here in Lancaster, God gave us powerful opportunities to encourage doctors, nurses, and other medical personnel on the front lines of the pandemic. Medical relief ministries came alongside local hospitals to save lives in the name of Christ. Church members gave food to the hungry. Law enforcement received love and encouragement. All around the world, churches learned to strengthen their live stream ministries and processes for reaching people who watched online. Remember, the pandemic and shutdown weren't tough for churches alone. It was so important for churches to demonstrate the gospel as they declared it. As churches sought God's leading, Turn to in-person meetings and ministries, there was a renewed boldness to declare the gospel and a renewed sensitivity to care for the concerns of others while declaring it. Despite COVID, Lancaster Baptist Church went to over 100,000 homes with the
message of the gospel. Despite COVID, Lancaster Baptist Church gave $1.4 million to missions, the highest in the history of our church. Despite COVID, Lancaster Baptist Church was able to give $100,000 toward a needed church building for one of our missionaries in Nicaragua. Despite COVID, God provided $560,000 in grants to purchase new buses, which are again being used to reach children and families in our valley. Despite COVID, God allowed our church to continue our great commission purpose of training children through the Christian school and training ministry students at West Coast Baptist College. But it wasn't just Lancaster Baptist Church. It was churches around the world that saw God's divine enabling to continue to declare the gospel while demonstrating His great love for the lost. 2,000 years ago, Christ declared, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it.